Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are, February 1943, and let's give you a latest update on the scores, as it were. Uh, we've lost 24 naval vessels, as you can see there, for 146,000 tons. The Allies, mostly the Royal Navy, have lost 249 merchant vessels. Sorry, for naval vessels, I beg your pardon, and for merchant vessels sunk, they've uh, lost 2,107, which is staggering. We're currently running at 272,000 tons of merchant shipping sunk each month. Um, and if we have a look at the fleet status, the Bismarck is in the Western Approaches approaches with light damage. The light cruiser Karlsruhe is in brest Lorient port for another full turn, getting um, repaired and refitted. We have Konigsberg in the Western Approaches with Bismarck with light damage, but nothing which will stop her being operational. Uh, we have U-29, U-29. 28 and U30, all with light damage in various locations. Uh, U44 with light damage and U65 in light damage but still out on operations. U66 is in Brest Lorient getting a resupply, which is good, should be out next turn. So that's all looking rather well. We have a look at where the heavy merchant traffic is. So it's again, as you'd expect, expect across the Atlantic and in through the western approaches, etc. Um, and that is where we've got our heaviest contingent of uh, vessels to uh, try and tackle those as they come. Um, I'm just looking up. The Arctic convoy is looking starting to get busier, is it? I don't know. We've got a couple of U-boats up there. Maybe that's enough. We'll, we'll, we'll see how, how things pan out. Mm, yeah, okay. Meanwhile, in the Azor Islands, Allied convoy attacked by submarines. 37,910 tons of merchant shipping were sunk. It's a good start. The Eastern Mediterranean, Axis bombers attacked the naval base at Alexandria, causing light damage. Current repairs delayed by two turns. All positive news then. All positive news. Good. Right. U66 has finished repair and resupply and is popped out. Where should we send her? Uh, it's busy on this channel. It's getting busier as well. I'm actually going to send you down there. But you can't make it down there and go. Okay. Uh, let's send you then. Let's move you there and then we'll move you down. You can see that's starting to get a bit heavier traffic there. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty happy with how we are deployed. Ooh, and here we go, in the North Atlantic, the Nisenau, with two destroyers, has spotted a large convoy uh, with large freighters, C3 freighters, troop transports, tankers, uh, escorted by one destroyer, the Warwick. It's, uh, it's a bit miserable, so um, yeah, it won't be perfect gunnery by the looks of it. But we should need it with the... Uh, the advantage that we have. Right, so let's have a little look see then. Where is the Warwick? There's the Warwick there. I see you. There you are. Let us move forward and let us swing our. What size guns do they have on here? 11 inch guns towards. Uh, I've lost that. The Warwick, there she is. High explosives. 10.1 uh, is the opening gambit. The wind is quite strong in our favour. So I'm actually going to go to about 9.5. And think the wind will carry the rest. Ooh. That was not a bad opening. Salvo that. Right. Bring our destroyer around. Again, targeting Warwick. Um... 16.5. We'll go 16.1. The wind's quite strong. Oh, the wind is very strong. Okay. Let's try taking a situational check to see where we are compared to the other ships. Target the Warwick. Stand by Z25. I think you're about to be fired upon, by the way. 
Just so you know. Right, so if we go, say, 13-7, and then we'll aim right there. Ooh. Got the angle of the dangle, right? Oh! Hang about! Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down! Uh oh. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Oh, it might be wide. It's just wide. Phew. We dodged a bullet there. We dodged a bullet there. Did she take any damage from the nearness of those bombs? No, she didn't. Fantastic. That was a that was a bit of luck. Um Right. Warwick. Boop. Last time we fired was 9.5. They reckon 9.1 now. Yeah, 9.1. Maybe a little less than that, I think. I go 8.8. 8.8 eight, eight, eight even. Oh, I should have got 9.1. That would have been her gone. Never mind. Don't suppose we have any aircraft, do we? Uh, we were on the money apparently with 16-1. They reckon 18-3 now. Has it extended? Surely it's got smaller. So I'm going to fire at 16-1 again. Oh, that wind is so strong. We're just teasing them at the moment. We're not actually getting anything on target. Just, just teasing them with our shots. Teasing, teasing, teasing. Playing with them. Um, nine point, sorry, ten point nine. They reckon. It's quite a drop. Okay, ten point nine. I'll trust you this time. This time only. And you're woefully wrong. Never again. Right. Where were we last time? We were a little bit short last time. Uh, so they reckon nine. Okay, we'll trust it. We'll go nine one. In fact, I'm gonna go a little bit more. Yes. She's probably gone with that. I can't see her coming back from that. Fair dues. She's still going. Okay, uh, 15-1 apparently. Mm, I'm not so sure. Let's 15-4. Uh, Wind is strong. Oh, she's rolling over. She there. She's gone. The Warwick's gone. All hail the Warwick has gone. Ding dong and all that kind of jazz. Right. Uh, 16. 16.7, a bit less than that. 16.3, there we go. Wow. And we're wide, long, not very handsome. Right, we can just sink and disappear now if we want to, but um, we might as well try and have a bit of fun. Or it could just be painfully frustrating. I'm going to go for painfully frustrating. We'll have a couple of shots, so just to see, just to see what we can do. Yay! We hit something. Woo! Not much else happened, don't mind. So, uh, 12, 4. 12, 5, there we go. And that's short. Short, short, short. Ten point five. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. I don't know. Alright, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Right, so we sunk the Warwick and then we 
cleared the rest of the, the convoy and moved on. Uh, the Warwick was sunk for 1,300 tons. Uh, the rest of the convoy was sunk for 93,800 merchant tonnage. Nice. Good. Meanwhile, U-37 down here in the East Sargasso Sea has spotted quite a tasty little task group. Two T-2 tankers, a C-2 freighter, escorted by the Corvette Courage. Nice. And she's in a nice position. There's the Courage over there. So... Let's whip this around and target the courage. Let's see if we got any aircraft. Uh, torpedo solution of 12.1. Fire. Now, I'm hoping it's not going to do any jiggery pokery, and that should, if it doesn't know we're there, run straight into it. It knows we're there. Fine. Fine. Right, torpedo solution of 17.9. I'm actually not going to go 17.9 because I think she's going to dive inside it. So I'll fire another one there. This is going to be one of those frustrating things. It's such a small ship. They can turn so quickly. She's just going to be playing, um, like... Neo in the Matrix dancing around our torpedoes. So, oh no, actually one's going straight for her. Yes, we got her. We got her. Nice. So, with the Corvette we can do the same thing and just moving away and uh, not worrying about it, but we might as well uh, get some experience. To be the solution, 3494. Got there. Boop, fire. Get this tanker, then we'll pop up, use the deck gun, get a bit of experience for the crew. Happy days. Oh, it's slightly hovering above the water, which is slightly odd. Oh, brilliant. Thanks for showing us the open sea. When a torpedo strike gets home. Bloody game. Torpedo reloaded, that's okay. Um, actually, we're a little bit close. Get some high explosives going. Elevation of four. Ah. Right on the waterline, beautiful. They're all turning away from us apart from that one ship. She's good. Don't want it to ram us. Is that good? No, it's still there, isn't it? No, it's gone. Okay. Uh, 6.9. Slightly short. Fire through the wreck now. Bit of a challenge. Um, seven seven. Oh, that's just over. Be another one of those frustrating days. <laughs> it's okay. Five nine. I go six two. Aim for the blooming biggest structure you can see. There we go. We hit home. Now we could also use a nice torpedo on this one. Uh, torpedo three, four, eight. How far are we? Three, three, three thousand six hundred meters. It's further than we thought I was. Uh, so three, four, eight, three. Pop a torpedo there. Bit of surface attack. We don't do that very often, do we? Nice change. Nice. Hopefully she'll succumb with a bit more firing from the deck gun. Uh, six elevation. Want to speed our little U-boat up? Oh, she is. We're going full speed again. Good. Torpedo reloaded. That's nice. We'll just keep firing. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she does go indeed. Um, 
can't be bothered to chase that last one down. So I'll sink the merchants and withdraw. Brilliant. U-37 comes away with a corvette sinking of 950 tons. Two T-2 tankers. Uh, C-2 freighter for 50,500 merchant tons. Very nice indeed. Meanwhile, down here in Cape Verde world, uh, U-44 with light damage has spotted a small task group of troop transports and a C3 freighter escorted by the destroyer Somali. Oh, it's dark. Where is... There's the troop transport. Somali is on the far side. Right. We've got one torpedo. <sighs> <laughs> okay. U44 needs to go back to get some resupply. Uh, let's get a shot away then. Anyway, 5-5. Five, five. Oh, hang on. Target that one. 5-9. Five, nine. Should be turning nicely into that. Fire blazing on the aft deck. Nice. Ooh, dippy. Oh, she's gone. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, yeah, let's disengage. Uh, we'll go disengage and get a resupply. Not a complete loss, but 12,400 tons for that, uh, that tonnage. Which, sorry, that troop transport tonnage. Difficult for me to get my brain around. Right, let's have a look. Where is my nearest resupply? It's probably... Sargasso Sea or down at the South Central Atlantic. Let's send you down to the South Central Atlantic, see if you can cause any mischief down there. Good, and while you do that, um, U66, which is just out of port, you move down here, and then U37, you go and cover Dakar. Brilliant. Wonderful. Wonderful. Meanwhile, in the Erminger Sea, Turpitz, Prince Eugen, is under threat from two allied submarines, Talisman and Taurus. The two destroyers, hopefully Z-23 and Z-24, will be able to finish them off. The allies have the first move. They have the initiative. This is worrying. This is very worrying. Bring her down, bring her down, bring her down. Oh, this is going to be painful. Oh, big explosions. No, not again. How have you, how could you not manage to hit, oh, this is going to be painful. How have you managed not to hit that huge ship, that, that, that huge aircraft, sorry. Wow, Tirpitz and Prince Eugen damaged. Triple A's out, that's worrying. Right, where are those bloody U-boats? Fore and aft. Let's get these guys out of there. Can we see them? Apparently they're on that. I don't see them. I don't see them. Pumps, oh no, Prince Eugen's pumps are damaged. Oh, bugger. Oh, I see, I see them. I see. I thought I tore a pretty tat. I did, I did, I did. No, I can see the, um. Oh, our torpedoes weren't quite, mate. Where will the torpedoes? How did. No, oh, she doesn't have any torpedoes. Alright, let's just try and. Hit them with the guns and um, it's long. Right. You got one behind you. Right, you turn. 
and get the one behind you. Um, I think much might, might do this stage. And you swing around to the starboard. Oh, that's probably a bit too much. Get your old torpedoes ready. Um, two six eight seven. Right, I can only two six eight seven. Right there. Yeah, I can only assume that it's heading towards our capital ship. So I'm just going to send us a spread of torpedoes. I don't want any more damage from my poor ships. Leave my ships alone. <laughs> Leave the torpedoes alone. Leave Brittany alone. Oh, go away! Come on. No way did they get three bomb runs in... Oh, we've lost the Prince Eugen. Unbelievable. At least the talisman's been obliterated. With three torpedo hits. It's probably a little bit excessive. Goodness me. How rubbish is our anti aircraft fire? Oh, propulsion's damaged as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just keep going forward. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Alright, we need to get that sub sunk as quickly as possible. You spin round. Join them. No action from Doris. Keep moving, keep fighting those fires. Oh god. She's listing. Come on. We can do this. How far is that away? It's too far, really, isn't it? 5,000 meters. Maybe if we got the angle of the dangle. No, we haven't quite got the angle of the dangle on that one. No action. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, God. Hopefully, I think oh, the fire's out, so I think their damage control are doing their thing. I think the organ might be okay. Right. Usual thing. Not quite sure where she's facing, so we're going to just cover the area with torpedoes. Oh, no. <laughs> so close. Just die. Let me get my ships out of there. Okay, I think... I think... They're getting hold of the damage now. I'm not as worried. We'll hold station that one. And you move up as well. Just in case these torpedoes miss. They are going to miss something. Are they? No, we got her. Ooh, we just snagged her. Nice. Well, that was a bit worrying. However, Talisman and Taurus have been sunk for 1,600 tons each. Turbits and Prince Eugen, medium damage. We'll have to send them back to port for repairs. Ah. Meanwhile, U-28 with light damage in the North American North Seaboard has spotted a task group of freighters, T2 tanker, just, uh, escorted by the destroyer Quail. Hey, sweet. Oh, coming straight for us. Now, where's the Quail then? There's Quail. Please have some torpedoes. Well, that wasn't much of a turn, was it? Anyway. Um, 
Quail is uh, over there. Torpedo solution of 323, apparently. Boop. And I'll pop one inside as well. Boop. Fire. And... Really? Wow. Tough ship. Now, surely, let's just let the water flood in. And I think I can see her going down. She's going down. I don't think we need to be overly concerned. Yeah, there she goes. Good. I was a bit worried then. Very tough ship indeed. With that done, sink merchants to withdraw. 1,692 tons for sinking the destroyer Quail. And another 57,100 tons for sinking the troop transport, the T2 tanker, the large freighter, and the C2 and C3 freighters. Good job. Meanwhile, in the Azor Islands, Allied convoys attacked by submarines, 39,110 tons of merchant shipping was sunk. In the United Kingdom, submarines attacked by enemy aircraft, U-41 has received medium damage. Okay, right. So that's um, that's that's Bismarck. This is Turpitz Neugen. Right, Turpitz Neugen. We're gonna, I suppose you can go to Brest Lorient. We'll send you to the um, the ports there. We'll send the whole. Should we send the whole group or should we leave the destroyers? I'll leave the destroyers. I think. We'll move them into Bismarck's um, group for the moment, and then they can move down to Lorient next time. Uh, where was um, where was the other damaged U-boat in the UK waters? Okay, UK waters, UK waters. There we go. Medium damage. Let's send you in um, to Kiel. Get some repairs done. Beautiful. Yeah, good stuff. Good. Right, so Bismarck. No, not Bismarck. Um, Turpitz and Prince Eugen are heading into Brest Lorient for repairs. Obviously, they're with the uh, Bismarck at the moment. Which must be lovely. Bit of a family reunion. And this U boat here, we were going to send down to the South Central Atlantic. So you're going to go down there. You can go down there to get a resupply. Good, and then you can back up Dakar, and then we'll move the U-boats up again. Wonderful. Meanwhile, around the Azor Islands, it's all happening around the Azores, isn't it? Allied convoy attacked by submarines. Thirty-eight thousand four hundred and seventy tons of merchant shipping was sunk. Meanwhile, U-66 has popped up and spotted a large convoy with tankers, freighters, and our old friend Somali. Right then. Where's Somali? Oh, we're at the back of the blooming. Oh, that's a tanker though. We have a tanker in front of us. We're at the back of the group, so we're unlikely to be able to catch them up, but we do have rather lovely a uh, T2 tanker sitting right in front of us so that would be a delicious target oh yes 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 let's pop a couple of torpedoes into that actually we got with one last time so we'll go with one we'll have time to have a second shot at it it's not a great angle terrible angle in fact but hopefully that will have knocked out her propulsion Well, yeah, it would have done a lot of damage to it, wouldn't it? So we'll move slightly to starboard. Okay, we'll put another one there. I didn't quite angle that right, so this may just hopefully we'll glance it. Oh. Destroyer's interested. Okay. That should be that propulsion knocked out, surely. What we'll do now, we'll just wait and see if um, the destroyer will come and play. It looks like he's going to come and play. 
There's that tanker there, so he's not a million miles away. So actually we might be able to recover this. Another torpedo reloaded. Good, so we have three torpedoes ready to fire. Forward. I might just dive down one. Keeping guessing. He's turned, he's not sure where we are. Four torpedoes reloaded now, nice. Yeah, I think this tanker has been left behind. You can see everyone else has got a, a wake. This this tanker doesn't. Yeah, her torpedo is a torpedo. Her propeller is rotating incredibly slowly now. She's dead in the water. Continue more forward. Alright, she's going to go behind the tanker, so I think we come starboard and we'll come to periscope depth. Two thousand eight hundred meters away. Um, torpedo solution of one point four. I thought it was going to be exactly where the um, freighter is, right? I'll pop two that side, and I'll pop one this side, just in case they do a reversing mechanic, which we've seen before. It's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean when they throw the anchor over the side and they do that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've learnt the skullduggery of this game now. But I don't think that torpedo was quite on the mark. No, it sailed just in front. I was expecting skullduggery, but not skullduggery of that magnitude. Right, which way do you think? You should go backwards or forwards now? Fire one straight plumb down at. I reckon she can go forward, I reckon. And dodge this one. Oh, cheating, cheating. Utter cheating. Disgusting, you don't like to see it, do you? Oh, well, although we might get a, a, a snagging shot on that tanker, which should be nice. Right. We have to wait for some reloads now. That steam, do they? Rubbish. Torpedo reload. Stop your shenanigans and die by my torpedo. Fifteen. Now oh, it's there. That's a lot. I'm not going to fire. I'm going to hold. Oh, probably was accurate. Oh, it should be coming a bit of a pain, Somali. Right, 9.4. Okay, there we go. Fire it there. Boom. She's going to turn. She's either going to hit reverse again or she's going to turn sharply. She's going to use her spider senses. Oh, she's turning into it. That's quite good. That might help us, actually. It's a hit. How's she doing? I'm not abandoning ship just yet. Is she going down? Not quite. 
don't think that's enough. Hopefully, hope for a reload. Expecting her to fire at us then. She still hasn't spotted us. Pray for a reload this time. <laughs> Yay, reload! Um, three, four, seven, eight. We'll go under, behind the the second gun, and just in front of the bridge, I think. Boom. Wow, 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 we goodbye Somali. You've been a pain, which means you've been you know, you've done your duty well. Meanwhile, I guess tanker just stuck here. Let's sink merchants and withdraw. Brilliant. So U66, fresh out of uh, resupply in port, has sunk the destroyer Somali eventually for eighteen hundred and fifty tons. C3 freighter, Liberty freighter, large freighter, large freighter, large freighter, T2 tanker, T2 tanker, and large freighter sunk for 100,300 tons. Nice. Blimey. Now, who's there? Oh, the culture has just popped out of port. Brilliant. Um, you were with Nice now, weren't you, Culture? Well, you can be with Nice now. So you head that way. You're going to join up with Nice now. Uh, and meanwhile, Turpitz and Eugen can come down here and they can go into to port for some needed repairs. 12 turns! Crikey Moses! Okay, well, better than losing them, I suppose. Meanwhile, you should be fully restocked. 22 torpedoes. Wonderful. So you can start making the slow way back up there. And we're covered as much as we can be at this point. Ooh, meanwhile, U-38 up here near the Faroe Islands on a quite a nice day, it's cloudy but nothing too bad, has spotted a bit of a task group with a aircraft, an escort aircraft carrier, Battler, two destroyers, Athabaskan and Quibber, Quibber, Quiberon? Quiberon. Quiberon? Quiberon. Who knows? And a C-3 freighter. City names. City names. Right. There's the carrier, and there are the two destroyers. So, I think, let's try and get the destroyers first. Um, how are we doing? Any aircraft? It's a bit dark. No, no aircraft. Just torpedoes, the way we like it. 31.5. 31.6. I'll pop one behind. They're there. You are, ooh, you are on the limits a little bit. 42.9. one about, about there. Bit of an off chance hitting that second one, but if we clear out the two destroyers straight away, that'll be really um, impressive. And then we should be able to uh, close in on the carrier. Oh, the carrier's moving. Alright, first one's hit. Torpedoes are over there. That one will probably react. But hopefully that, that's that one dead. Now we can um, go. We'll turn a little bit more and we'll head towards the carrier. She's turning away. She's quite quick, actually, isn't she? He's not as dead as I was hoping he would be. I don't think these are going to quite make it. Oh, yeah, they are. Good. Cribberon has been sunk. Whew. Okay, that was a good first attack then, wasn't it? One destroyer cleared. The other one is making smoke and um, running for Mama. Meanwhile, if you get some torpedoes reloaded. Reach to the float. The freight is going like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> right, torpedo. Let's Let's try and slow this ship down. Uh, three four, sorry three five four three. Okay, about there, a little bit less because I want to hit the rear where the um the engines are to try and slow it down, knock out the propulsion. 
all the good stuff. And she's turning her foot. Just... First torpedo strike. Oh, she seems to be um is she in trouble actually with one torpedo strike. No, she's leveling off now. Okay. She no, she definitely looks really low at the rear, doesn't she? These escort carriers are a little bit fragile, aren't they? Which is what I like to see. Does she have any? You know, she does have anti-aircraft guns. Obviously, the bigger carriers have, like, you know, five-inch guns on their defending. So I, I wouldn't usually pop up and. This is an attacker ruler class escort carrier. So she does have. What about anti-aircraft guns? By the looks of it. I think she's in a bit of trouble. You know. Oh. Destroyer's gone. Fabulous. She fought hard to <laughs> stay alive, but wasn't meant to be. Right, meanwhile, 7.2. She's turning slightly, so I'm going to pop, pop it about there, 6.9. Second torpedo heading for the carrier. She's definitely lower in the water at the rear. That did a lot of damage, that one torpedo. This might this torpedo might actually just finish her off. Oh, deck's on fire now. Can't launch any defence. Oh, she's gone. There's no way she's coming from that. She's rolling over. Go on. Go on. Don't make me use another torpedo. That's gone. No way that's coming back. Yeah, there she goes. I knew. I do want to look away. There goes the battler sinking. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. Two destroyers and an escort carrier. Beautiful. Right, let's sink merchants and withdraw. U-38, legend continues to grow. She sunk two destroyers and an escort carrier for 14,942 warship tons. Also sinking a C-3 freighter for 8,000 merchant tons. Good stuff. Oh, meanwhile, in the United Kingdom, U-27 has been spotted... Oh god, U-27, you've got a bit of a, a challenge here. In UK waters, by two destroyers, a light cruiser, and another escort carrier. The Bogue escort carrier, the Gloucester light cruiser, non Pirelli, no, non Pareil destroyer, and the Quality. Right then. We're right here. We're right here. There's the Gloucester behind. Oh, there's the... T oh, blimey. What a position. What a great position to be in. Right. We know two torpedoes will sink one of these. So, this is probably the best that the um, the Allies could shove out at the moment. And we're just going to about to just obliterate it. Get those two fired. Uh, then we'll target the Gloucester, and that one will come round. We'll hopefully use the rear torpedo tubes on that. Oh! We were close enough. Well, that one might go on to hit the um, the Gloucester. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, it 
wide. Quite short of us, thank God for that. Yeah, of course we're over UK waters. This could get tasty. The Gloucester is in danger from the, our first stray torpedo shot, which is good news. Oh, God. Never mind. Sutherlands are just death, aren't they? Probably being called in by the destroyer. Oh, she's dead. Damn, we've lost U-27. Could have been glorious. It was not. We got light damage on the aircraft carrier, escort air aircraft carrier bag. And we lost U-27. Meanwhile, Knives now and the two destroyers have spotted a corvette escorting quite a nice sized convoy. This should pick up our mood, hopefully. Where is the corvette? Action. There she is. She's on this side. Barely see her. Uh, I'm going to have to click her on the, the map because I can't. There she is. Okay, she's tiny. She's tiny. It's like a little speck. Uh, six. No, that's the torpedo solution. Sorry, elevation thirteen eight. The wind's quite strong, going from right to left. Wind is very strong. Right then. I might just close. With, the, with this kind of strong wind, they might as well just. Do we have any aircraft? No. We might as well just move the, the destroyers in because their guns are just going to be. whiffed away like a penny floater football. Um, <laughs> anyway, that may be kind of a niche um, example, but I'm sure a lot of people will get that. Oh, she's making smoke. She's just gone. Uh-uh. No way. We're making smoke, and we're going to try and get our dodge. Um, right, where was our last shot? Oh, I've just... There you go. We were long, so let's... And... Oh, wrong way. Almost. Almost. Where we wanted it. That brave Corvette is doing all it can, actually, you know, thinking about it, it's just, you know, it's doing its best. Trying to cover the ships in its convoy. And we're, um, you know, receiving fire and all she's concerned about is protecting the ships in her fleet that's 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 good captain see that that is that's brave that's brave we all salute this little american corvette it's the little ship that could Make sure my, i'm not going to run afoul of my destroyers um let's drop that down to say 11-7 You know what? If I had to destroy something 50 meters in front of that ship, I would have absolutely obliterated it by now. But um, I don't, so I haven't. Oh! Ah, she's dropped the guard down there. Oh, and she's got a Really? <laughs> okay. 
Right. Uh, elevation 11.6, they reckon. We were at 11.7. That's not bad. Oh, just can't hit this bloody ship. Right. I suppose we, we should start opening up now with these destroyers. 19.5. Uh, the wind's just going to take them, as I say, like a penny floater. Oh, really? That ship's... Come on. Let's blow that corvette out of the water. It's taking the mickey now. Too many mickeys have been taken. Oh! Uh, 13.5. It's a hell of a drop. I'm not going to go all the way there. This wind is not being kind to us. Eleven one, they reckon. Can drop it down a bit. Ten seven. I don't even know where the uh, ship is now. Are we pointing directly at it? Are we? So I can't see it. That's the problem. Can't see the bloody thing. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh my goodness me! I'm getting a little bit frustrated. Right. I cannot hit this ship. Whatever they've got, some sort of force field, I cannot hit it. It's ridiculous. Nine. I can't hit it. It's protected by some supernatural power. And it's unbelievably accurate with their gunnery. Thankfully they've got a pea shooter. But that pea shooter will eventually bring something down. It took some damage, but bloody hell. Ah. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that has got to be the most frustrating engagement ever. I'm, g I'm done. <laughs> right. The action. Bravely stood her ground. Bravely, bravely, bravely. We will commend the, a the actions of the action. She did brilliantly. Uh, the rest of the convoy was sunk for 63,600 tons. Ooh. Bugger! <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> My voice goes... Aah. The Karlshrew, fresh out of port, heading back to the battleship, uh, has run into a battleship, the Barnum. The Barnum will obliterate her. Thankfully, we also have U-68 in the area, which we'll drag into the conflict. U-68 might have a better chance of sinking the Barnum. Right, here we are then. Where are we positioned? There's the Karlsruhe. Oh, oh, U-68 is in a beautiful position. Right, flank speed ahead. Probably that's a bit too much. Try and cross their T. 
And there's the bar room there. We might as well fire some 5.9 inch shells. Brilliant. Elevation is 16.5. Let's go a little bit more because the wind's in our face. And we're well long. However, U68 has pulled a blinder. Oh, she can't turn though. Um, and she's going to fire a full salvo at the bar. Right. Uh, 4,000 meters away. Solution of 334.3. Pop one there, pop one there, pop one there, and pop one there. Fire! There's one powerful warship in front of us. Oh god, the torpedoes didn't make it in one go. Uh oh. Phew. Oh, one missed. I think that might be enough. I'm hoping that might be enough. She's still afloat. Her rear turrets are knocked out, though. But then the one's not pointing at us. <laughs> oh, bugger. You might be going back to port or worse very soon. Um, we fired at 16.8 last time. Now 11.8. Let's meet somewhere in the middle. Around about 13.3, shall we? Oh, we've got some fires going on the foredeck. Brilliant. Brilliant. Swing it round. No torpedoes yet. Oh! She's got to use her secondaries. Oh, she's put a star shell up. That's why she uses the secondaries. The primaries are still in in good order. Damn, that torpedo could have been the life the life and death for the barum. Oh, they can see me. They can see me. Hide. Bright light. Anyway, so 13-3, 13-4 they reckon. I think we'll go again. We'll go again. Fire. Couple of hits, but a bit, a bit over. Please have a reload. Please have a reload. Please have a reload. No. Bugger. Uh-oh. Painful. Oh, very painful. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, God. Oh, God. So you got the rear guns now. Where is the barum? I can't even see her. There she is. Elevation 11.2. I could go 11.8. Oh, the fire's right. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, slightly short. Now, please. Must have reload. Must have reload. Reload! Please be a good one. Fire. She's not going to make it, is it? No. Oh, she's making smoke. Oh, that is a breath of... There's a dud torpedo. <laughs> okay, at least... Oh, as far as the um, star shell's gone out. Let let us... We were slightly short with that, weren't we? Just slightly short. Let's um, add a few twings onto that. Let's go up to 12. Fire. More damage. Nice. Hopefully we'll have a torpedo reload next time. Well, this is a... I feel slightly more confident now. We'll go again because we're closing slightly, I think. It should be good. Closing a bit more than I expected. Right. Come on. Reload. Get me a reload. Oh, bugger. 
Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Oh my goodness, the barum's just gone pop. Wow. Wow. Well done, Carl Shrew. You survived. Let's get her out of there. So, the battleship Barham sunk for 32,000 warship tons. And the rest of the convoy sunk for 74,100 merchant tons. Carl Shrew received light damage and will be turning back to port. <laughs> that was a short voyage. And there we go. I've got a light cruiser, heavy cruiser and a battleship all in port getting repaired. My goodness me. What a day. What a day. That's been quite the... Um, it started off slow, but then it certainly escalated towards the end there, didn't it? Um, but yes, we got ships in repair. Uh, we have lost another vessel. Week 3 of February 1943, we have lost 25 vessels now for 147,196 lost tons. It was the U-boat, of course. The Royal Navy, however have lost 260 warship vessels for 1.3 million warship tons and they have lost 2,180 merchant ships for over 12 million tons. Our average has now gone up to 286.5 thousand tons a month sunk and we are going well. We have the battleship Tirpitz, the heavy cruiser Prince Eugen and the light cruiser Kaltru in port receiving repairs after some battle damage, obviously bombings for the Tirpitz in Eugen, and um, <laughs> was it one salvo from Barham which um, almost wrecked the Karlsruhe. But we're going strong, and look at this. What are we up to now? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red bars. Sorry. We are winning the tonnage war. Well, almost winning the tonnage war. We're pushing back. Get our ships out of port. We also need to recruit another vessel for our fleet and put that out onto patrol as well so things are going great thank you so much for watching i hope you continue to enjoy atlantic fleet give us a thumbs up if you are and i'll see you next time take care bye bye